Okay, so today we're going to talk about scale in magazine collage because I need to harvest some magazine images, meaning we're going to look through these magazines. I just grabbed a stack from my um, magazine holders and we want to talk about scale. Look at Martha beside this Christmas tree. Either Martha is very tall or the Christmas tree is really short, right? Usually, so let's say Martha is 5'10", because she seems like she might be a tall woman. So this is just a little bit shorter than a six, a little bit sh taller than a six foot Christmas tree, but she looks really like a giant when you look at it, right? So if we picked these arms, right, to go on a body, and let's get a size, boop, boop, boop. So you wanna think about what size journal you're gonna be working in. So say I'm working in a little journal like this, right? So these planes look like they're really large on this plane, or on, on this plane, on this page. And this girl almost fills this page and she looks kind of okay next to the car. Now the car would be longer. So on a small page like this, so this is about eight inches wide and about eight inches tall. So this is a square. So the width is gonna be about the same as these pages. So this is about nine inches wide, but it's 11 inches tall. So you, when you're thinking about scale on the entire page, you wanna think about like how big a canvas you're using. So think about this. So we have this guy and these birds. Obviously a skeleton man on a surfboard would be considerably larger than little birds, but we messed with scale, right? So that's sometimes, you may wanna do scale exactly right. Like I feel like this scale is pretty close to right on this page. Like her head is maybe a tiny bit bigger than her body, but not much. These aren't really playing with scale because she's about the same size as her head. Okay, this is a good one for scale. So what happened with this one is this is my husband picked my magazine collage images. And so I had to work with the ones they had. So if you look at her, she's like the focus of it. And then... This is probably the next focus. Now, obviously this dog is too big for this house. And then if you keep going back, this gets smaller. So you think of it being smaller and further away. And then this dog is obviously too big for the tree, but because he's small, it kind of feels like it might go with this bit of stuff, right? Okay, this is one I just did the other day. Um, the cat would not be that big compared to the people, right? And this guy is like, I don't know, a foot taller than his wife on real TV. But I made him a little bit shorter. And the hats are almost the right size. But obviously the cat is not the right size. And then, of course, the buildings are the, not the right size. Okay, this one is just... Okay, her eyes are too big for her head, obviously, because they stick outside, but also her body is too small for her head. Okay, this one's kind of fun. Godzilla is too big, right? He's supposed to be too big because he's Godzilla, but he's too big for this bridge, and then I made the buildings in the background, so... Let's see, those aren't good. Oh, here's a perfect one to show you scale. So there's three levels of scale problems, right? In this page, I've kind of started. So her 
body is obviously too small for her head and then her eyes are too big for her head. So we have three things going on. Okay, this bird is obviously too big for the capital. Those guys aren't, I'm not playing with scale. So you don't always have to play with scale. I tend to play with scale. Look, now these shoes, I found all these little things, but these shoes were way bigger than his feet, right? So when I talk about scale, that's what I mean, is we're playing with scale. Small means far away, big means close. We're talking about is are the arms and the body smaller than the... Um, than the the actual picture okay so this you could make a giant stack of cookies next to a really small person right so you could put a little person right here and that giant stack of cookies could look like it's big and then the person would be small right so i'm just looking for a person i tend to like big heads you don't Oh, I've had this magazine before. Remember, we seen those uh, uh, candlesticks and something else. When oh, oh my goodness! So you could have a giant cookie for somebody to stand on that would look really funny in a collage, right? All right, I like that. But I have to figure out what. I'm gonna use for my head. I like to start with the head and see how big that's gonna be. I have, oh, because it's an ad. Um, oh, there's a big head, but her head is turned. So I have a trouble with turned heads because I'm not advanced yet. I try to kind of get heads that are straight facing. If we can't find any head, we know she's in there. I for sure have had this because I have that cut out somewhere. When you go to, um, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to my um, thrift store, one of my thrift store videos, and you'll see, you can just buy a ton of magazines. In fact, the one I got, I don't know, 10 magazines, I think it might have been this trip for, I don't know, 28 cents each. So let's keep looking for a head. We'll talk about scale. Look, a giant cake. Those are so pretty. I like the colors in those. Okay, so there's some really big arms, right? If you wanted to put, if you wanted, I don't make big bodies with little heads, but you could maybe make, oh, you know what I was thinking about doing? Now that I think about it, I was thinking about doing a fun little one. How big are their heads? Their heads still aren't very big. I was thinking about doing one where we kind of had like little heads. So let's pull out his head. Okay, let's think about this. And where are those candlesticks? I'm going to use those candlesticks again. I'm obviously fascinated with those candlesticks. And we could use these upside down to hold the heads. There's candlesticks. Candlesticks are always really good. I have a, a love of candles. There they are. Okay, so we're going to do this. And, and so if you're just doing um, plain magazine collage where you're using the images, these are really great because of the shapes. So you could turn them upside. What I do is I turn them upside down. I make the base for something. And then you could use these for the base for something. But you could also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind up painting them and making them different colors. So now we're going to look at scale, right? So this dog head... is in scale with the size and the width of this post, right? So we're gonna collect, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I may not collect eight, that's a lot. Look at the back, nothing on the back. Okay, let's go to this one. 
see if we can find anything. Maybe we could have George Washington's head. How fun is that? All right, all right. Why is this coming out? Sometimes wine bottles are good to use as bodies, but I don't need some random thing. I don't try to keep everything. Okay, these heads are now too big, way too big for the scale of this. Now you could use this if you were gonna get a big head and a little body, you could use that for her neck but I wouldn't use it for what we're doing right this second. Look, a giant uh, dolphin, okay? Let's see. This lady's face is about the same size as this dog's face. So let's go ahead and grab her face. These guys are too little. Oh, look at that school bus. I love that. Not for this one. Oh, let's see. How's this lady's face? Uh-oh. Is this the back of the school bus? I'm not messing with the school bus. I like the school bus. That lady is blurry. So in old vintage photos, sometimes when they um, print them, I don't like when they're blurry. It's just my own personal. Her head is facing away. So for me... I may do that, but it's blurry and facing away. So she's got she's got two strikes. She doesn't get to be something ridiculous in my artwork. She's probably like, thank the sweet baby Jesus. I don't get to be something ridiculous in your artwork. All right, all right. Anything good? These are all kind of weird. He's a tiny bit too small, I feel like. Don't worry about black and white or color. Um, she's maybe a tiny bit too small. Okay. Not George Washington. I kind of feel like I got ripped off. So I got three Marthas. What is this? This must be a... What is this? <laughs> I ripped off the cover. I ripped off the total cover. Okay, no front facing, a little bit too big. Oh, look at these guys. Okay, so Will and Grace, I could maybe, and plus they have such cute faces. I might use them with the dog, right? So we could do five. Maybe this lady's out now. I'm sorry, nice lady, because... Because look, the, so then you want to look at the lighting and the composition of the pictures, right? So if you're trying to sell they're all the same, they have kind of made them, like, think about color tone. They have made them all exactly white people the same color, right? So the lighting on the photography is the same and all that. Let's see if our dog is a little bit bright. Oh, he's bright too right so he's gonna look nice and bright his eyes are shiny so we're gonna do that for this one i have that so that's gonna be one design that's gonna be fun this lady yeah she's not exciting enough to keep some people keep everything i am just not coordinated enough to do that look at those glasses so if we had a sideways person okay let's talk about scale and sideways people so this, these glasses, you could put on her because they're about the right size, so her face is bigger. I would more so put big glasses on a smaller face, but I'm not coordinated enough. Like, I keep going, I should just throw that one away, because I'm not advanced enough to be really good at putting people sideways, glasses and things. <sighs> Someday someday but for right now i kind oh scale so you could have one giant eyeball right so you could take this giant eyeball and think about how big it would be on her face right now it wouldn't look right because this is kind of an upward looking left eyeball and this is a right looking face okay that's a cute little 
body, but it might be too big. Oh, here's a whole bunch of cute bodies you could use. Let's keep looking. That would take up a whole page, right? It would be good on a tall page, but it would take up a lot of a page. That lady's face is turned, you can tell, because it looks like she's straight ahead. But look how we can see all of her ear and only part of that ear. So you could use that, but to me it would be a little bit harder. I kind of like people to be, she's straight on. I've used her before. I like her. I don't know who she is. Okay. That's kind of a fun, I've used this for something else. But that is kind of a fun body. So I'm going to find a, because I love her, I'm going to color her with paint pens. I'm going to color each of her stripes a different color. Um, and I probably won't keep her hood because I want to put a, a head on her. And I'm going to be doing it on my super tall journal. The one you see me do that's super tall. So let's, let's keep her to the side and we're going to find her a head. So I want a big head for her. And then I want some weird stuff to play with scale. Like I could maybe, if those, um, if those, oh, there's a good eye. If those cookies were more colorful, I tend to like colorful things. Um, if those cookies were more colorful, those are good eyes to use. Oh, so feet. So if I wanted to, ch if I wanted to keep, those cute ruffly bottoms. So cute ruffly bottoms on her shoes, but put big feet on her. I could do that. So those are about the same size. Now they look really weird because they're both going the same way. So two things I could do. I could um, put, put them both the wrong, put one the right way and one the wrong way on her feet. Or I could paint them with a Posca paint pen or acrylic paint. Oh, now I'm unhappy with her feet. Look at those purple eyes. How interesting is that? We're gonna, we're gonna put a, boop. Let's see, let's keep going because we're looking for scale. So now I'm looking for big or little things, big shoes, little shoes. Oh, look how cute those shoes are. She would have to be super, super tall, right? Because then we would do these shoes, one this way, one this way. I'm not sold on that. A giant pocketbook. Ooh, I kind of like her that we only get to see one eye and I could do something fun with her hair. All right, now I want to find, it. Do, oh, do we do the purple eye? What, how, what size is the purple eye? Where did it go? Well, it's kind of just the same size. Okay, we'll try the purple eye. So they're the same size, so we're not doing like a weird giant eye. I am just going to cut out her purple eye and put it here, and then I'm going to do a big, um, big hair thing for her with curly hair because I have dark curly hair so I like curly hair girls but now we need some stuff that's gonna mess with scale right so we have um I just seen a that's that girl has a great face um I just seen a um okay so what I'm gonna do with these guys is very similar to the look of this I don't hijab um, but it's more stylized, and then I'm going to put a little, like, dealy bob on the top of their head. I know it seems weird. I need some background stuff. Oh, it's a boob issue. Yay. Check your boobs. Oh, look at her shape. Her shape is amazing. Okay. We need some background stuff. I don't know if this is going to be our best background stuff stuff this is I think it's a glamour glamour these are really good for um, heads and bodies there's a giant shoe here's Reese 
I love her. All right, all right. There's some fun feet you could put on. I would kind of want, if I was going to mess with her feet, there's Noah. Um, if I was going to mess with her feet, I think I would want them to be bigger, maybe. Those are some big heads, but none of them are really facing front. Okay, so we've done these three. Ooh, birds in bloom. Do we need a bird? I oh, I frequently like a bird. Okay. So we used a bird before. So this is the Birds in Bloom magazine. So it has a couple of cool things. So let's think about what we have going on here. We have purple. So I'm thinking I probably won't mess with her eyes too much because it's already a purple eye. And then we can do whatever color we want. So we have purple there. And then we have whatever color we feel like over here. So if we wanted to do a bird or something, we could do that. So that's what we're thinking about. Purple and then just something cool in the background to make it look weird. Christmas tree. The new Birds in Bloom magazines, because I ordered some off of eBay. The new Birds in Bloom magazines are really lightweight, but they have really colorful pictures. Um, I usually pull out butterfly wings, but I'm not gonna put, I could put butterfly wings on our girl. We'll keep our eyes open for a butterfly. So that bird is super small, but he could be cute to cut out and put on somebody's head. <laughs> Those coins, I like the coins in these kinds of magazines. Not a very exciting bird. So these birds, he's cute. Okay, so let's think about this. This, is a very linear type design, right? So, if we did him beside these guys, he would be big, but I don't know that he's big enough to look ridiculous, right? And kind of when I play with size and, and scale, uh, if he was this much bigger, then I would totally use him and he would, like I would, substitute him for one but I don't feel like he's quite strange enough okay oh butterfly wings so let's find a good one for her I feel like that's a pretty one for her and we were kind of doing purple I don't really um I don't really try to color the butterfly wings because they're very fancy to begin with. Okay, so we're going to use our butterfly wing on her. That's a very big butterfly wing for her. That's okay. Oh, he's a cutie. Okay. He is almost as big as her body. He could, I'm gonna make him a bird friend to her. He's gonna be her bird friend. Cause this bird isn't very colorful. We are giving her a bird friend. And I live in the, I live in Florida and those birds are kind of here. So this could be cute behind them. But I think he's fancy enough. I want to save him for something special. Those books are very big. So if I wanted to, um, first off, he's on the back of the bird, so I'm not going to use him. But you could um, turn them sideways and make them a base. And they would be much bigger out of scale to what everything else is. I love how he has like this pissy look on his face. I don't know if I'm going to use a bird on both of them, but he's a beautiful bird. See how some of the birds are more colorful? This bird is cute. Oh, I like those guys. Uh, hummingbirds. 
So hummingbirds are one of my favorite. I did not know that. I only use the birds for their cuteness. He's a beautiful bird. Hmm. This is a giant necklace, right? So thinking about scale, we see some cool scale things there. Okay, these are good for backgrounds because there's some weird stuff. A giant pitcher. And I'm gonna come back at the end and show you what I did with all these things. So we could cut out giant pots and put them behind them. It would make you feel weird. And you might not even know exactly why you are uncomfortable, especially if you kind of weave them into the background. But what happens is you go, that doesn't seem right, right? Okay, and don't get frustrated. So what I see a lot of people do is get frustrated. If I can't find um, a really good one for scale, then I will just sit and go through a ton of magazines because I, I mean, I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> okay, Mary Mishichik dolls. Um, those would go. They're not really speaking to me. I tend to wait until I find something that I go, oh, look at that. Right? Okay, these are all going to be way bigger than they're supposed to be. None of those really. Ooh, that cat's cute. Oh, here's some more of those candles. Different shapes. Those candles are, um, the actual things. Look at what Martha has. Martha has good stuff. Okay. How about some cupcakes, Martha? Cheese doesn't add to my... Uh, obviously, she is not interested in being helpful for my magazine collage. I love him. Hold on. I love him. I've used him before. He's a cute dog. He must be a stock photography dog because I see him a lot of places. I love using older faces. This is Helen Mirren. Nothing from that one. Let's not get, oh, this one has good stuff. Let's go, I've used this magazine before. We've looked through it together in other videos. And you guys always are like, well, I need a ton of different magazines. But what happens is as you go through, like I used him for a puff ball one time. As you go through these, you, um, you're looking for something different for each project. So if you didn't want to do a ton of work for your background, you could do this, this, and this, and mix them with this, this, and this, and just kind of stick them on the back and have them be your background. Okay, there's some trees. Trees are cute. We could make those trees. This would be a lot of work because I would color them, but you could just leave them as is, or you could highlight them. Jonathan and Drew. A sandwich is out of scale for what we're doing here. Bowls are always good for circles. If you're not good at incorporating circles, circles are fun in collage. Look, there's a circle. Ooh. So, we could make this a tree. I love trees like that. Let's see what else they have in their dish garden. It's a very short dish garden article. Or I have pulled out other little trees, right? Oh, well, that's nice. I like a dish garden, obviously. All right. I don't feel like there's enough, like I haven't found enough of that kind of thing to put it in. I wonder if I already pulled the cute cupcakes out. I'm kind of thinking about that school bus, but I don't know why there would be a school bus. You know what? It doesn't matter why. Look, I've already pulled the cupcakes out. 
darn it. Okay. I have him in another place. I'm going to cut him out. I have him in my big... I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But I love him. I've had him twice now. Okay, I'm going to go back to the... Well, we have one more, and I'm going to go back to the school bus, which is in the Smithsonian. And I'm going to use the school bus behind those people. All right, do I need both pages for the school? Yep, I need both pages because the back of the school bus is over there. All right, I'm actually going to try to rip this out nicely because this is not the world's best paper. The Smithsonian, I get this at the one thrift store there's somebody super smart who always gets the Smithsonian. And I find they have really, and I might not use the back of that, but I find they have really good cool ads. Like these are fun. Do I want to use those? I'm gonna wear those. I'm gonna wear those. I'm gonna put those in my magazine collage because let's go back to our scale. Cause now I feel like I have a little bit of stuff. So we have, he doesn't count. I'm just harvesting him. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so this one is more developed than this one is, but that's okay, we can work with it. So this is gonna have a school bus either in the front or the back that's wrongly sized, right? Like they're their heads are too big for their school bus, but they match this size. Then we're gonna have giant beads kind of, I'm gonna cut these apart and have them kind of randomly around. And did we have a dog one? So there's something going on there. I'm not sure yet what. And then this girl, we're gonna go through this last magazine, see if we find anything exciting. But for right now, she has a body with a butterfly wing. I usually do one side. Um, this face and those pur that purple eye, right? And then we gotta see if we can find something for her background or I'll keep looking and I will come back afterwards. Nope, Smithsonian. Weird Smithsonian. Okay. So the school bus, if I put it in the front and it's bigger, will look like it's closer to us, right? That's how um, depth works. Are you leaving, Jose? Yeah. Are you going fishing? Can you help me? I can help you. Give me one second. I just want to finish this one little thing. And then, yes, I'll be happy to help you. I know it's like quick. You just have to pull something. I have to pull something? Just like make my backpack better. Oh, okay. Excuse me for one minute. Well, I could tie it off and make it shorter. Okay. All right, well, I fixed it. Yay me. Have fun, honey. Those ears of corn would seem really big. That cat would feel really big in the background. I tend to use cats for their own heads because I love cats. We have three cats in the house. I have two that are mine, one that's my mother-in-law's. And we didn't find any other weird feet that I wanted to swap out. He's super excited because he got away without me nagging him about eating breakfast. I know it. Darn it. All right, those are very small. <laughs> the only thing that comes to mind thus far that I could have maybe used, but I don't think they're interesting enough, are the giant um, stack of cookies. But I didn't really think, I don't, I didn't want to use them because they don't seem there they are okay while you're here let's see what you're doing so we could have her stand on them we could have her stand beside them see how they're they're interestingly tall did we have a bird for her do we want to have oh how about if he stands on let's let's grab that since they keep popping up right they're an ad they're an ad for pepperidge farms so since they volunteered like that, right when I was talking about them, I'm putting them in. All right, so 
that could be fun. Let's see real quick if there's anything else. And then I will, I've used him. And then I will let you go. Okay, I'll be back when those are done. So I have cut these things out and I really want to talk about scale in your magazine collage. So I have two sets of images and I'm going to grab my big collage book that I'm going to use probably, I was thinking I might use my dark page. So I have some pages already made in here because he has a little friend. Remember we seen this friend? I'm going to look for that. Well, that was a different video. Sorry. Lied to you. We didn't see that. This friend. Okay. So on this page, which this is 16 inches tall, about 16 inches tall. If I were to try to use these things, so we have a tiny little butt, we have a small bust compared to this. We have tiny little heads, right? Even if we make them tall, we still have tiny little heads. And so this page would eat up these images. And I've done this before where I'm like, geez Louise, I can't even see this on this page. This is probably the only thing that is somewhat in scale for this image, right? So we're gonna put this all on our school bus. We're gonna come back to it. Now, let's look at this image and see what we think about it. So we have, first off, this gal, and I have a stack of books right here, so I could even put her on this stack of books, put her hair up here, get her butterfly wing over here, maybe put her a hat, right? And all of a sudden, I'm probably gonna put her down here or over here. I love this lady, so she's gotta come over here. But now I can kind of do her head, her neck. I could put, I was thinking I was gonna put a dunce hat on her, maybe. Um, but this is a great size. Then we were gonna do, well, maybe we have to move our butterfly wing over here. Then we were going to do a plate of cookies with our big old stork over here. And then I was thinking I might do her neck like that or her neck like that. So I'm definitely not going to use this, but I wanted to show you one of the things I cut out maybe for this. So maybe I don't use this as a hat. That's kind of too small when we're talk talking scale. But if I wanted to use that as a neck, that would be a good size neck, depending on how tall I want my bird to be, right? See how this encompasses the whole page rather than just a tiny bit of it? And maybe we put her dog friend in, maybe we don't put her dog friend in, but this on this page scale will do something. Okay, so now that is, and that's only five things on this page, right? So that shows you how much, and the border will always tend to make it smaller, but it can't compensate for using the tiniest images you've ever seen on a big page like this, right? Just You just can't. You would have to either make it sections, do the top, do the bottom, do whatever. Okay, so now let's look at a, um, like the size of a composition book, right? So there's a chance we could do it on a composition book because we do have these guys, right? We do have those guys. We have a bus for this edge. So maybe we could do the bus over there and do these guys over here and their little heads. I'm getting to a place where it's a little bit more manageable. And let's see how big this is. This is 14 by... 10 okay so we're getting a little bit more manageable here now what i was thinking is wait a second we're gonna dump all these guys off Boop. i just got the cutest little journal it's called a flip journal it's um very tall and skinny right so it's tall and skinny and you can do it landscape or you can do it horizontal. So for me, I was thinking how fun this might be 
to maybe do something like this over here. And then have these guys over here, like their little friends. We're gonna be tipping their heads. But for me, remember, one of my things was I wanted to make it, um, like I wanted to make them with big dealy bob funny head things. So then, now we're gonna go this way, right? And think, okay, if we do our bus, and we do the front of our bus, right? We have a border. This automatically makes levels to our people, right? So maybe we have two people up there and three people down there. We have front and back. We have the little doggy. Actually, these are upside down for what I'm gonna be doing. We have different heights, right? And now, all of a sudden, we could even do something like this and kind of have them go up the page. And if you're thinking, well, that doesn't even make sense because, you know, why would that be floating there? A couple things you could do. You could put this back here and then set this on here, right? Which would let us play with that. Or the other thing to think of is that it's a freaking candles with a bus and some weird little heads. And of course it doesn't look right, <laughs> right? So that is my talk to you about using scale in your magazine design. If you wanna see um, me use these things, I would check out some of the working in my journals, working in my art journals, because that's where I really, um, do the work on some of these pages. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.